hi. Okay. Right. This is a message response going to a guy that wants me to call him No Lies. So, hello, No Lies. Um, I am not going to respond to your video trying to argue facts with you because it's clearly fucking pointless. Your video is really quite special. I've, I've really, honestly, I've genuinely never seen a video like this before on YouTube. It's, it really is groundbreaking. It, uh, I really genuinely think it's totally unique. It's by far the worst response I've ever seen by anybody to anything. It contains absolutely nothing in the way of facts, and it doesn't actually address anything I said. It just addresses what you hope I'd said. It, it's an unusual tactic. I mean, this, is, this has not been tried before. To, to watch somebody's video, and then to take the arguments that they presented, ignore them entirely, make up new ones, and then knock those ones down. Actually, shit, you know what? It's, that's, that's not new. That's not new. That's called a straw man, and that's what you've done for, like, 50 minutes or something. I, I've managed, and I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty well here. I've got to 8 minutes and 53 in your first video, and I, I think I peed a bit because I was laughing so much. Um, so, I, I want to be absolutely crystal. I'm not going to go back through any of your... Well, I'd say points, but there aren't any points. It's just a sort of continual drivel. I, I'm not going to respond to your drivel. Or anybody else's drivel. I have no intention of doing it. If, if you want to make responses to me, you, you should feel free. I will approve them. And you might, if you do such a fantastically shite job like you have in this case, and you give me an open goal for poning you, um, you might get a ponage video back in response. Um, I've been watching Fake Sagan for a while. He'd give me a few tips, you know, now and then. I've seen his style. I like what he does. I think he doesn't do it hard enough. So I'm just going to go back through, and I'm going to try and offer you what I'd like to... It's constructive criticism. Um, they focus very much on the criticism and not so much on the constructive. But, you know, you should take this to heart, and, and I don't want you to, to do anything silly, but maybe just give up. That might be an idea. Um, so, y as I say, you don't actually address a anything at all that I've said during the course of your video, which is impressive in and of itself, but nothing like as impressive as the... How can I put this politely? Just how fucking enormous you are. I mean, I I've seen fat guys before, but you're like a new level of fat. I mean, it's, it's, like, it's like you're using a wide-angle lens or something, and you've, you've got close to it, except at one point you, you do this in, in the course of the video, and your fingers appear like that compared to the size of you. You're just enormous. I mean, I, I put the video up on the screen, and it was like purple and orange and stuff, which is a fucking hideous color to make your video. I mean, that is a hideous color choice. There are a bunch of filters on here. That is a hideous choice. I was like, Christ, I've got to make my way through 50 minutes of this shit? And then I was like, what the fuck is that blob in the middle of the screen? Holy crap, that's him! It was you! Dude, I, I don't want to be rude or anything. Fuck me, you need to go on a diet. I mean, you really need to go on a diet. I'll tell you what I've done. I'm a nice guy. So I've stuck in the box on the side a little link. It, it's a little site. It's called Weight Watchers. Between you and I, I've been there. I've used it. It worked, man. It worked. I mean, I was nowhere near your size. Uh, even if there'd been two of me, I wouldn't have been anywhere near your size. But I'm sure with 30 or 40 years of hard work, you, you could get through it and, and get down to a normal size. Um, I, I have to say, uh, just a comment on that purpley, orangey red, black shite that you, you, you've filtered it, it doesn't look cool so much as sort of like an acid trip. And whilst it does disguise your features, it doesn't instill confidence in the other person. I mean, just as a general rule, if you're going to try and get them to believe bullshit like you've presented, then you need to really make sure that you, you're actually doing that in a way that, that sort of comes across as vaguely believable rather than as somebody who thinks that they're pseudo-cool by, by hiding themselves. And, and dude, look, I, I understand. You have every reason to hide yourself. I mean... Jesus, you're fat. But if you're going to hide yourself, hide yourself. And please, for God's sake, if you're going to make a response to this, hide yourself. But if you want to appear on camera, and can I say again what a bad idea that is for you, you, you should just get rid of the filters. It makes it easier to watch. People might begin to relate to you. They might begin to understand what you're saying. Another point, I mean, I should just make this, as I said, I think you should give up. But if, if you're determined, and hey, I, I admire tenacity. Um, you need to go somewhere other than just the internet to get your information. I mean, the internet's fine, and I clearly, with somebody your size, the idea of actually getting up 
away from the side of your desk, walking to your front door, getting into your car to drive the 100 yards to the public library, and then all the shag and hassle of trying to get a wheelchair at the other end so you can go round it, and then you've got to use your brain, which evidently doesn't work, to understand the referencing process so that you can get books, and you'll know what a book looks like because you've probably seen pictures of them on the internet, and, and read the book, and then actually absorb the information. I know this is, for, for most people, this is a little bit difficult, and it requires a little bit of work. For you, I guess this is a bit like running a marathon, and I do understand why you haven't done it, but you, if you're going to put a cogent argument together, you know, one that has facts and shit like that in it, you need to make sure that you're capable of doing it, and, and right now, clearly, you're not. Um, I don't know where you live, otherwise I'd maybe call the public library and see if they do a delivery service or something. I mean, anything, really, just to, to get that, 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 that idea of, well, you know, facts rather than than what's in your little head across. I think that's probably a sensible approach. Um, uh, one other tip I, I, I guess I should make, um, other than Jesus Christ go on a diet, is um, yeah, you spend the first eight minutes of this video going off on one about um, my misspeaking at one point. So, so basically what you've done is you spend eight minutes saying where I said the other myth, and I meant to say um, a myth, You've taken that as a premise, then, to assume that I'm calling everything else that I've just said a myth, and taking that misspeaking, have then spent eight minutes ranting about something that I didn't say. It's, as I say, it's, an un it's a pretty unique tactic. I I've not seen that one before, not taken it to that extreme before. Um, and, and I congratulate you on, on finding a new rhetorical tool. I'm guessing not many people will try that in the future. Anyway, as I say, go on a fucking diet and never speak to you again.